we're going to talk about exponential inequalities now. And an exponential inequality is an inequality that has the variable in an exponent. And so there's a general rule here that we need to follow. And that rule is, when we're going to solve something like this, let's get it by itself. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 7. So 3 times 0 0.5 to the x is bigger than 12. Divide by 3, and it's a positive 3. So that gives us 0 0.5 to the x, and we don't change the direction of our inequality. And now here comes the tricky part. Because our x isn't a variable, in order to get it out of there, we're going to have to take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to get the natural log of 0 0.5, we'll bring the x to the front, is bigger than the natural log of 4. As our last step, remember that since this is a number, we divide it over to the other side. And so we get that x is strictly bigger than the natural log of 4 over the natural log of 0 0.5. What this doesn't help us do, though, is we don't know what that is approximately. So this number, we get out our calculator again, and we do 4 natural log divided by 0.5 natural log hit equals. That's approximately equal to negative 2, or it actually is exactly equal to negative 2 in this case. It won't always be. The numbers chosen gave it to us this time. But notice that I used my calculator to find that. I didn't try and find it by hand. I didn't try taking 4 and multiplying it by 0.5 or anything like that. And also notice that I had to use the whole thing. I can't divide out the natural logs, and I can't make either of these any smaller. This is how I have to do it. Using the calculator, trying to work these both out by hand and seeing what we can get. But that's how we find an exponential inequality. Isolate the exponential first. Take the natural log of both sides solve for the variable, and then get a decimal equivalent.